Alright, you'll remember, you'll remember this being the place where I found that Druffalo. So we'll continue deeper into this cavern. I mean, this ravine or sort of sorts. So what we find is a fire here with multiple corpses. But no items near- oh, hey! It's a rather peculiar uh, image right there. Is that some kind of potion with the folded arms and folded legs? Unpleasant looking. We're gonna find a crazy cult down here or something. Hello? Anyone gonna try to murder find me? We're still going the right direction for the, uh, if I want to get that next watchtower erected. Question is, are we, are, ooh. Hey. Oh, now we're in the Witchwood. This is where the apostates are that I might have to deal with. Let's look into that. Hello. Oh. I'm hearing noises. Are people fighting out here? I saw a bunch of red symbols earlier, but now I don't. Ooh, more elf fruit. We have a building over here to explore. It looks like it's kind of on fire. Nope, those are those are just those are those are fires where they're supposed to be. Bunch of ice crystals over there. Oh, another another uh, landmark moment. Okay, saga of Tyr to Brightash, Avar mother, sixth stanza. Tyr to Brightash, found proud her. Uh, Tyr to Bright Axe, proud her tribe, free from follow, fat below, built in battle, fed on fighting, strong from struggle, did they grow. Deep in caves, the stone men tribe, Hender's warrior, stout and strong. Met the tribe with axes ready, armor gleaming, sword blades long. Spoke with Tirda, did her lover, gentle whispers soft she made. Dwarven hearts were sundered simple, skill with honor, thus she bade. Let let the tribe uh, the let the tribe the dwarf men know in their caves where they belong. Not the battle, but the trade. Hender's dwarves gives peace unbreaking. I don't know what it is about these, uh, these little pieces of poetry where it seems like the last line doesn't seem to rhyme or correlate with the rest of the sentence the way that you'd expect them to. Another building to explore, though. Maybe it'll give me another another, another uh, local quest to deal with. So if I get a little bit more power, I can go check out that next, uh, that place in Orlais. In fact, I might even be able to do it now. Am I doing on power? Doesn't show power here. Okay, let's try... Oh, I only have two power. Okay, so I, I don't think I got any power from that... Ox that a uh, Druffalo mission. Take a quick circle around the building to see if there's anything cool hidden around. Please don't get stuck. Please don't get stuck. Okay. Almost got stuck. <laughs> that was a little concerning. Okay, I might have gotten a little more stuck than I thought. Okay. Okay, so. Oh, there we go. We did it. That was. That was a self caused problem, wasn't it? But let's see what I can find up here. No, let's, let's continue on before I manage to jump off the cliff and kill myself. What's in this building? Find a key to the cabin. It's locked. Oh. Conscience is an objector. There's some sort of some sort of magic happening in there? Is there is there any NPC? Huh, we have to find the key to the cabin. Is that marked on the map now? Apostates. That's the uh, shards, 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 shards. There, there's the rift, and there's the uh, place where I'm supposed to put the tower. I don't know where we're supposed to find the key. Maybe just just anywhere in general. Oh, is it up here? No, that's the uh, business arrangement based on the corpse I found after the Blood Brothers quest. All right, I guess I'll just continue towards the tower location and then deal with the rift if we need. Oh, there's the rift. Okay, we're just barely in range. Oh, okay, they're aggroing on me, aren't they? What level are you, friend? <gasps> Yay, they're level four. I can deal with level... Well, I can usually deal with level fours. These lesser terrors are kind of a in the fucking ass, though, with their teleporting. Maybe I'll get a nice combo chain going on, though. The important thing is to make sure we bubble before we engage. Give us that handy little amount of, uh, of bonus armor, and we'll just head right in. Come here, asshole. Alright, so, now that we're getting started here... Oh, the, Jesus, he's immediately behind me. Well, uh, let's try to freeze this one and try to get a nice combo going for a moment. I'll tell Cassandra to taunt this guy, and maybe that'll deal with the fact that there's someone right here. Uh... Okay. We'll f fast forward a little bit to initiate this ice, uh, ice ability. There we go. Smash attack that guy. And then we'll need to- th yeah. Nice job, Varric, doing a long shot against a guy that's four feet away. Is that shatter triggered? That shatter should be triggered. I'm gonna take control of Varric, and get him to a- get him a little distance away so he's actually doing- his job properly. There we go. 
We might be able to do this just yet, if I can just get from a nice stand, nice place to stand with this character. There we go. Things seem to be going okay. Make sure to apply poison. Damn, that was a lot of damage happening all at once. Is there anyone left? Don't see anyone around right now. Let's see, where can I tell Varric to stand where he won't be in trouble all the time? Let's tell Varric to, to hold position right here by this tree. And I'll move in with the rest of my party. Because I need I need to uh, disrupt this portal to make progress here. Can I disrupt it? There we go. Come on, come on, come on. Did I stun them? Or did I succeed or fail? I'm not really clear. Let's do a shout to get that uh, bonus armor up. Okay, we'll tell- oh god, Solus, what are you doing here? Uh, I guess- I guess Solus is not safe anywhere, huh? Because they'll just teleport to him. So I might as well just be in the area. So let's have Solus use- As soon as possible, we'll have Solus use ice on this guy. There we go. I just want to get my combo set up. So there we go. Uh, let's do that mighty blow to shatter. There we- uh, did he shatter successfully? Or did that- did that fail on me? It probably succeeded because he's about to go down, but we need to heal immediately. There we go. We're doing okay. We're doing okay. Use another war cry to get bonus armor. Uh, Cassandra seems to be handling herself just fine. Is Varric in attack range? He is in attack range, so he's doing great too. Okay. Let's spectate for a moment. Things should be, be going okay for a Okay. Uh, I need you to actually attack someone. That is handy. Cassandra, what are you doing over here? Oh! I see what you're doing over here. Definitely go after that guy. Do not want uh, this being a problem. Should I tell Varric to... Let's tell Varric to get away. Hopefully Cassandra can attract the attention of that guy. Is your ice attack up? Not yet. Okay, we'll wait for the ice attack to come back up and hopefully things will be more or less proceeding nicely. Okay, so ice attack is back up. I just need to have a terror that's actually in line of sight. He's about to come up from under me, isn't he? Oh, there he is. Okay, we'll ice attack that guy. When he, once he gets ice attacked, that should make him he easier to deal with and then we'll take this moment to mighty blow him. Go, go, go! Shatter his ass! Shatter it! Oh, come on! He never used Mighty Blow. He was too busy fidgeting his feet around and getting stuck. That's a bummer. So no Shatter happened there, but we're, we seem to have pretty good control over the fight right now. So I'm not overly concerned. Let's do War Cry for bonus armor. There we go. Things are going good right now. Okay, so who's le how many people are left? There he is. Okay, he was hiding underground. Right now, clicking sticks does not... I'm clicking the sticks really hard right now, and it's not... It's not toggling to the enemy. That's weird. There it goes. Now it toggled to him. Oh, he's almost dead. Goody. Let's grapple chain him. Yay! You're fucked now, buddy. Anyone else left to cause problems? Disrupt that rift. Come on. Come on. Yeah! That went just fine. That's progress right there. So, because that went so much better... Uh, I don't know about- I don't know when, but at some point I'm gonna go back to that rift that I had troubles with before. I might be more capable of doing it now. My character seems to- either I got better at the game, or my- my party progressed a bit. Because I seem to be doing better at handling those assholes that were destroying me earlier. Ring of Guard Penetration. That sounds like a great thing for Varric to wear if it, uh, goes against people's blocking. <gasps> Take a quick look around up here to see if there's any, uh... Any items dropped by people? Nope. Okay. Let's check the Guard Penetration thing. Probably switch to Varric. He'll, he's probably- oh, that's the wrong inventory. I mean, well, it's not the inventory at all, is what it is. So, you're currently wearing the Explosive Shot Ring, which you don't even have the skill for yet, but I just put it on him because he'll, he'll use it eventually. Uh, guard Protection. Oh. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, 5% bonus damage against Guard. Might as well apply that to the ranged guy that has the most opportunity to attack people directly. Okay. On we go. So around here there should be the Watchtower. What am I looking at over here? Oh, it's a shard. Okay. I'll grab the shard. Shards are good, too. Okay, so where's the, uh... Oh, the watchtower's up here in the hill. There's probably a fight happening up there. I think there's those red spots. There's red spots. We're getting closer and closer to that... D Ooh, iron. We're getting closer and closer to that big war zone we were seeing earlier, where there's tons of uh, Templars patrolling around. Now, we didn't really want to get into that. Look at this. The apostates have gone mad with power. I, I, I see guess just as many Templars. Yeah, it's it's a fucking war. There's no there's no side that's less responsible right now. But uh, I guess it was naive of me to think I wouldn't get involved in this at some point. Cause you look down here, and yeah, this is the uh, 
We're just on the other side now of this massive uh, burning area that we saw before. But the watchtower's over here, so I'm gonna see if I can skirt the fight for now. But I'll probably have to go diving headfirst into that sooner or later. <laughs> no! Okay. Don't think that's a valid path. How do I get up to there? Hopefully without fighting everyone the entire zone. Let me guess, the ramp. The ramp's probably on the other side. Oh look, my whole party's just running around down there next to all the bad guys. Oh, there's a path. I guess they are smart. <laughs> Good job, AI. Is a uh, the shard? There is a shard. We should move on. We can only restore order by securing an alliance. Uh, El Fruit. Or maybe you're not supposed to take part in this fight. Maybe you're supposed to see this as the big example of the conflict that's happening. He did say we should move on, which is an interesting point. He said, he said we should move on because there's a. Uh, no, no, no point in joining the conflict until, like, the only way to resolve the conflict is just to uh, forge an alliance. So maybe there's a point in the story that'll make this war die down, and then maybe I can freely explore without fighting 700 Templars and mages around there. Let's see. I don't see any. Yeah, I don't see any exclamation points in there. There's a there's shard shard. Hunger pangs. Yeah. There's no. As far as I can tell, there's no reason to go into that war zone right now, except except for shards. So I think we'll head we'll head to this apostate quest since it's so nearby. But I might as well go for it. While well, I'm still in the zone, am I going the right direction? Roughly. Okay, let's head this way. Hey, spindleweed. More resources for me. So the apostate, uh, the apostate one is the one of the quests that I picked up off, off screen while I was trying to catch up with this new character because I had to correct the fact that my entire world state was wrong. Uh, I don't know. I think. I hit share when that happened, so I, I have video of that text. I might read it. I, don't, I, pro I might splice in right here me reading that. So you guys have a background on why I'm doing this quest. Hopefully I remember. And hopefully I have the footage still. What does this say? Stronghold of the Apostate Mages. Are you tired of letting the witless fools bind you with their fear? Come to the Witchwood. Follow the signs. We will be free to work our craft, free to become the new gods we have always known we truly are. An unsigned letter written in a large and excited hand. You know what? Scratch that. I guess I don't need to read the note. I guess I don't need to find the footage of me reading the, the first time around, because I just found another note instructing people to go find the apostates in the Witchwood. So, I guess that, that was an, I guess some of these quests must have a bunch of notes, a bunch of evidence all over the place that can, help, that can start the quest for you. That makes sense, because when we did the uh, quest earlier, Earlier we did a quest where I was taking care of those fake bandits that were guarding one of the camps I wanted to take, the East the East Road bandits, and you'll notice that I kept finding more and more notes about them. So, so there we go, there's a legitimate note for why I'm doing this quest. What is that over there? That looks important. That's not Elfrid at all. It's... it's Emerium. Embrium. There we go. I've, I've had a few of those so far. It seems like a rarer piece of, equ piece of equipment, probably used for specific things. Maybe upgrades. Uh, I have been able to upgrade... Uh, I haven't upgraded my normal potions yet, but I was able to upgrade my restoration potions twice. So now they heal more, and they heal for longer, so they're generally just more freaking awesome, despite only costing one elf root to make. That's a freaky landmark. Okay, why not? More experience, right? Or something like that. So I got a tier to Bright Axe of our mother. Fifth stanza. There's a lot of stanzas here, and I'm reading them out of order. I just realized that's unfortunate. Tirota Brightax, uh, uh, bold and bloodied, took her tribe from placid pla plains. Uh, tribes with blade. <laughs> I don't know why I'm struggling here. Tribes with blades by farming blunted, chased and fought their pa their parting pains. To the mountains shorn on sh of shelter, snow slicked peaks gave wind its bite. Found a cave to save her tribe, but dragon fire lit the night. Beast no blade could break came roaring, roaring a mountain slipped their winter gown. Tirota shouts the leaf-eared lover, you and I ch you I chose above the ground. I mean <laughs> you I chose above the crown. I don't know how I fucked that one up. Lightning split the, sp the spitting rains, sundered over prideful heights. Dragon fell and rubbled down, crashed and cr and crushed in Earth's mad shaking. Oh, I get it. Every single word, every single last word is always, that doesn't seem to rhyme with the rest of it is always an ing, and so they're rhyming. They're 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 rhyming with each other. It's it's a must be a form of 
uh, of rhyming structure for poems that I haven't realized before. So there's supposed to be apostates like right here. I haven't. I don't see any around here. I'm about to take. I'm taking all your plants, apostates. I guess the idea is that anywhere in this entire zone could there be there could be apostates. I see. I see enemy arrows over here. So maybe this will lead me there. Hello. Oh, that looks like this looks like magic to me. Let's see. What are those guys over there? Oh God, how many enemies are there over here? Okay, so these are rebel spellbinders. There's clearly a bunch of them. There's four of them right here, and then there's a spooky portal over there. Uh oh. Uh, if I go in there, am I going to be in deep shit? <laughs> how many enemies are going to aggro me if I attack? Is the is part of my question. I'm going to use an, a regeneration potion on my two tanks so that they heal throughout the fight. Also because they need to be topped off a bit anyway right now. And I'm just going to... I guess I'm just going to get in there. Uh, yeah, we just have to get in there, I guess. So let's let's bubble too. Is everyone in range here? Oh, everyone, not everyone is in range. Okay, let's tell... Before I activate this, let's get Cassandra to come in here a little more. Sense magical energies ahead. The mages cannot be far. Okay, that everyone just sort of spread out again. There we go. Uh, let's bubble. Everyone doing good? There we go. Now, now I'll initiate my actual combat here. Uh, this is this is gonna be chaos, isn't it? Uh, let's tell Cassandra to, to uh, try to tank this guy. I'll just tell him to basic attack. Tell Vasti to deal with uh, one of the spellcasters. Probably this one over here. Want to get Varric to a spot where he can snipe people easily. Can I tell him to stand still here? Is, it, is that a good spot? He might now nah, he might be out of line of sight. Ah, I need a better spot for Varric. Line of, line of sight wise, he's probably better off right here. And then Solus, I'm gonna control more or less manually. Okay. Let's send him right down here, in line of sight, so he can help out. Let's get into position. He's in position. Alright, let's have him, uh... Let's see, this is who my Vasti is targeting, so we'll have him use an ice attack on him. Now he's iced. Oh, he is immune to, he's immune to frozen and cold resistance. I fucked up. Oh well, at least we'll get our attack in. Fall over, bitch. Okay, and you're both using Warcry, which means you're both gonna get an armor boost. There we go. Things are going great right now. Alright, let's just spectate Solus for now. Is he getting attacked? Solus is not currently getting attacked directly by anyone, so he should be more or less okay. Varric, what the fuck are you... Can you even see anyone from here? Are you shooting a wall right now, Varric? Does not seem very effective. I told you to hold position. Uh, what if I tell you to go closer to here? Would you... Nope, you still can't see shit from over here. Okay, oh, you can flank everybody. Let's send you over there. Jeez, Varric, you're good at you're sure good at shooting walls. All right, let's try this again. But we'll try targeting someone who's actually uh, vulnerable to cold. So this guy's immune to frozen. This guy's chilled, not immune to frozen. Oh, that's Vasti. Never mind. Uh, cold enchanted, cold resistance. Spell sword has cell sword. Oh, cell sword, not spell sword. Have I, how long have I been misreading that? Cold resistance. Okay, so let's let's go ahead and uh, target him with Winter's grasp. Because he can, he can get shattered, and that'll help us uh, move forward faster in this combat. And I'll go ahead and use a smash on him. Smash him! Smash- Oh, you didn't smash him, buddy. You're supposed to shatter him. It's your one chance. You ruined it. It is difficult to pull off combos properly. Oh well, someone died, because there's definitely fewer enemies around. There's a cell sword. There's a magical barrier. There's a spellcaster. There's a sp and there's another spellcaster, so we're, we're, there's only one guy down so far. Let's see. Oh, Josephine just finished her quest. Let's say... Let's tell... Uh, attack my target. We'll just have the entire party go after this guy. Who's not currently attacking him? Oh, Varric's not. Is Varric out of line of sight? No. I don't know why he's not attacking then. Nope. Defend. There we go. For some reason, only three people showed up when I said attack my target. Alright. Cell Sword's down. Now there's just two spellcasters. So, we'll say... Is there, is there one in here? There should be one. There's a the Rebel Spellbinder. Alright, attack my target. Everyone, let's see everyone just wipe this guy out now. Oh, teleporting. Definitely activate some attacks on him. I can't do a shatter, so there's not a lot of use for tactics right now. Like, I, I can't combo them if they're immune to frozen. So right now, my main thing I can do is just try to absolutely destroy them. Who's left? Hello, one guy that's left. 
That's don't worry. We don't we didn't forget about you. Oh shit, there's two guys left. Cell sword, cell sword. Oh, three guys left. Where where are these cell swords coming from? Are they, are they coming from, is this barrier spitting out new people? It might be. There's definitely more enemies now than there was a second ago. These two cell swords are new to the fight. Maybe I should have everyone let's have everyone focus on uh Let's have everyone focus on the other spellcaster because they're I think they're more dangerous than just random cell swords. Oh man, Solus though, you need to get okay, Solus, you need to get out of there. First of all, let's do a regeneration potion so that you heal over time. Do that real quick. There we go. And now let's send you let's have you take a step. Let's go over here actually. Just get you a, a little distance away from the main conflict. Then we can go back to pummeling on this asshole with the that has less hit points. There we go. He's not gonna live very long. <laughs> wow, he really isn't going to. He's going down quickly. There we go. How many? So how many enemies are left now? Just this guy? And the portal. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll bubble everybody just to reduce incoming damage. Bubbles are important, kids. And we'll do a... Well, as soon as I can, I'll use an ice attack, I think. There we go. We'll set him up. Now he's set up for a shatter. And this guy's ready to use his, uh, his uh, shatter ability. And I don't think he got shattered necessarily, but we did we did win the fight. All right, is that portal gonna spit out more assholes? I probably have to use my mage to to to, uh, to dispel that uh, portal in some way. But first, I'm gonna comb the battlefield for anything, any rewards we get for that little success that we've had so far. Cause that that went relatively smoothly. I think my party's really coming together now. Having a few amulets of power probably doesn't uh, hurt that much either. Enhanced Immolate Ring, so that'll be for a Fire Mage. I don't think this character will ever be a Fire Mage because he's more of a... He's more of a defensive character. I'm gonna go ahead and save, just so we have the ability to continue from here. If needed. How am I doing on potions? Four out of eight. That's not bad. How many, oh yeah, I could have used some of those fire potions for those cold resistant guys. Bears can be destroyed with enough of the opposite type of elemental damage. Fire barriers can be only damaged by Mage's cold attacks. Is that a fire barrier then? Am I supposed to attack it with cold? Hey, 74 damage. Did that definitely do it? Oh, it did attack it. Okay. Oh, this is working too. Okay. I can take it down eventually then. Da da da. Vasty, get out of the way. I can't see what I'm doing. There we go. <laughs> Alright, cold attack. Did I win yet? There we go. There goes that barrier. Come here, asshole. Look at that guy running away. Ah, oh, it's funny because he thinks... Okay, he's probably alerting everybody right now, isn't he? Okay, now it's less funny. Now we're probably in trouble. Okay, let's get in there, guys. Let's go make a mess. So how many enemies are here? Spellbinder, Spellbinder, that's two. Cell sword. Spellbinder, three Spellbinders, one Cell sword, and more enemies uphill. That might be coming in here, too. This could go bad fast, potentially. Let's say... Let's have everyone focus on one guy at first, I think. I think, I think our best chance is just to focus fire as much as possible. Oh, this guy's coming straight into the doorway, isn't he? Okay, so first of all, let's use a uh, regeneration potion on Vasti. To recover a bit. And then we'll use uh, Ward Cry to get a disgusting amount of armor all in one go. Uh, let's see. This is a great time to use bombs, isn't it? Let's have uh, Vasti, you have fire bombs, don't you? Yes, you do. Let's make everyone burn. I heard you guys were cold resistant. I brought you a present. <laughs> I think since Solus and uh, Varric are dealing with this guy though, let's probably just deal with this guy one-on-one -on -one for a moment because this guy's just going to be a problem at this distance. Uh, should Varric back off a, a bit? Because he, he, he needs some distance for his attacks. Wow, did I already kill somebody? I think I already killed somebody. I just got experience. Okie dokie. Can you guys tell what's going on in here? Because I can't really, but... <laughs> It's fine. We'll be fine. Let's use another uh, regeneration potion on uh, on Cassandra to keep her going over time. And we'll just watch for a bit. Okay, Cassandra. Okay, Cassandra's not regenerating very effectively. Let's try using a healing potion. Uh, you, you. Oh, Solos can bubble. Uh, where is Cassandra in here? I can't see her. I see Vasti. Vasti's right here. I don't see Cassandra at all. Is she on the ground somewhere? Uh. Ha uh, ha ha. I I genuinely don't see her in here. This is kind of a problem. She's not back here. I'll just I'll just assume she's somewhere near Vasti. If I bubble the area, hopefully I'll get her. 
But yeah, she needs to recover very quickly. Oh yeah, healing done, and oh my god. Vasti immediately went down in that one frame of animation, despite being bubbled too, I think. Question is, what caused that much damage that quickly? Was it, was it my, uh... It wasn't the fire, was it? Because my understanding was that fire doesn't have friendly fire. Although maybe Vasti, maybe... I don't think your grenades have friendly fire, but maybe grenades have, uh... Maybe grenades affect yourself, if you throw them on yourself. That might have been a mistake. Let's throw another grenade in there, to make them more mess. And definitely heal with Varric as fast as possible. Please heal, there we go, healing successful. And we should be able to... Resurrect Vasti. As soon as I have enough mana. There we go. So R1 to res- to... Can I use R1? Oh, you, it's- oh right, you cast it in sort of a zone, huh? There we go. Please use it to resurrect him. He's back. She's using Warcry, I won't, in I won't interrupt that yet. Let's do a quick heal with, uh, Vasti. Ah, oh, man, we're, we're out of healing potions, okay. Do that war- get that Warcry in there. We'll have you do another regeneration potion. Vasti will have you use a war cry as soon as possible to get some armor up. These things are not going super hot in there, are they? Get it? Hot? Because everything's on fire? That's the joke? Ha. I might be a monster. Uh, what if I have you shield wall? Does that help you at all in this situation? I'm not entirely sure. Varric's about to go down. That's not good. Regeneration potion for him. How are we doing with, uh... Oh, I can't bubble for a while right now. So how many enemies are left? Rebel? 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 Okay, there's actually a lot of them. This is not going super smoothly. I might have to run away as, uh... As Solus or Varric if this goes any worse. Let's see how are things going. Oh, there goes Cassandra. This is not ideal. Nope, there goes both tanks. Am I doing... Am I even hurting people in here? I'll, I honestly can't even tell necessarily what's going on in here. Uh... Let's see, I'll tell, I'll tell Varric to attack the Spellbinder, because he should die in, like, one hit. If he can even attack him directly. Please hit him. Please hit him. There we go, we killed him. Okay. So how many people are left now? So it's probably about- oh god, what's happening on my screen? Okay, so there's a spell- there's a spell sword right here. There's a rebel mage, spell sword. So it's one mage and two spell swords now. Uh... My best chance probably right now is to- to, uh... To disengage as quickly as possible. We're just gonna have to get the fuck out of here. My automatically engaging barrier should save us in a bad situation for Solus. But I need to back out of here, maybe use some regeneration potions to just fix up my party. Because we did not fare well. Hello, friends. Go ahead and chug for a moment. There you go. Wow, did everyone level up in that? Hey! Our little f we, <laughs> the fight itself may have not necessarily succeeded, but it looks like everyone leveled up a bit. So what do I get from here for tanking skills? Maybe 20 armor bonus, which I don't have anymore on this particular character because I, I changed my mind about something. Let's see. 15 stamina regeneration per, se per sec second's not terrible, but that's not a very good ability to begin with. Maximum guard bonus is not terrible. Let's look at shield and sword abilities for my, for my tank. Lunge and slash. You lunge forward, then spin with a slashing strike. If your if your first blow connects, you can you can use this attack to close to close with opponents. So you can charge people with that. Uh, every time you lose ten percent of health, you gain ten percent stamina. I don't have enough abilities to really need stamina that badly, though. Uh, this technique is perfected by Orlesian uh, Orlesian Chevaliers. You can't be flanked by enemies, and you're less likely to be staggered when hit from the front. It's not a terrible idea. You just get a general. Bank thing. What's this say? Oh! Shield wall gives nearby enemies bonus armor. That seems like a worthwhile thing. I'll go for that. There we go. I'm sure every time I make any decision, people are mad at me because I'm making suboptimal decisions in some way, but I'll, 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 do, I'll do fine. Life ward. My resurrection gives people damage resistance. It's not, not a terrible idea. I might go for that next. Or reduced cooldown on barrier. Right now it has... yeah. I'm gonna go for that. Let's, let's bury her as often as possible, if we can. And Varric gets... Oh, I just spent a point on him. I'm surprised to be back here already. Okay, so... That's the Sunder ability, which I definitely want. And that's the duration bonus for Sundering and Poison effects. Let's go for Sunder. That's an all-around benefit, because it'll help uh, take people down faster. And I believe that is everyone with their points spent. Alright. Let's give ourselves a chance to heal up a bit from these potions, right? 
then we'll be ready to move in. We'll use one on this guy too. Alrighty then. We took we took at least one or two of them down, and they're all they should be hurt still. So we can run in there and deal and do some serious problems. Uh, do some do serious damage. It's I'm not used to this party dynamic, honestly. It's a, it's in, it's an interesting experience trying to figure out how to use this party properly. Because I'm very used to the idea of having a healer in the party. So not having a healer very much changes the dy 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 dynamic. The closest thing we have is that we have someone who's kind of a defensive dude. Yeah, so where you at? There we go. We're about to make a mess, bro. About to make a mess with your organs. Oh, he's dead already. That was easy. Come here. Come here. Oh yeah, they're, they're going down fast now. They're in trouble. Oh, is this, this this rebel mage the old day I've left? Fun. Okay, so how does he do with... Oh, fire resistance. That's not nearly as helpful for what I have in mind. So, Mr. Rebel Mage, I'm going to ice the fuck out of you right now. And can Varric do a long shot? No, he can't. Can... Oh, he's, I'm super far away. This was a mistake. I didn't plan this out very well. Whatever. Everyone, attack my target. Let's just get in there and make a mess. I guess I'm not going to be there. And, yeah, I'm not going to be there fast enough to shatter. I did not plan that well enough. I should have sent everybody in for, from the get-go. Uh, Cassandra, keep going. Keep going, girl. You can do it. I guess I could have I could have combat chained. That's what I should have done. I should have combat chained this guy in while freezing him and then followed up with a smash attack. Whatever, it's one dude. He's not going to last at all. So, apparently, and I, this, uh, uh, a Reddit post kind of explained this to me. Apparently, in this game... Uh, ooh, my, my smash is back up. Is my ice attack back up? It is. I can actually do the same thing that I was planning on before then. Uh, where is he? There he is. Is he frozen yet? Can't, I can't tell if anything's working, honestly. There's so many particle effects happening. I think the important thing is that I'm just hitting him really hard. <laughs> Everyone doing okay over here? Okay, okay, I'm about to, I'm about to lose my tank, my, uh, Vasti. Uh, I'll just let him go down. If he goes down, he goes down. This guy shouldn't take... This guy should die sooner or later, right? Frankly, my, uh... Frankly, Sola should be able to resurrect him anyway, right? Let's go ahead and do that. I'm all out of potions right now. Oh, is he out of range? He's out of range. Ish, maybe. Uh, let's just get Solus to come closer then. Uh, Solus, you want? Let's have you come over here. That's a really weird path to take, Solus. You could have just walked in a straight line, but okay. Uh, now let's resurrect our friend. Ta-da! Now he can stand up and also die. Okay. Let's tell everyone to focus fire. Can Solus use a bubble yet? He'll probably be able to use a bubble in a moment here, right? Or is he out of mana? And now I can bubble. Okay. Get that active. Oh, it only worked on Vasti. I somehow missed Cassandra in that. Oh, she ran out outside of it. This Rebel Mage is taking a long time to go down. It's mostly because he keeps bubbling over and over again. It's definitely causing some problems. Let's try to ice him this time. Okay, he's dead. This, this is it. I iced him. I didn't. I don't know if I shattered him successfully, but either way, he went down. There we go. G should have an easier time on the King's Road. I believe the Renegade Templars still present a problem, however. That was a big deal. I just got 200 influence out of that. That was... Oh, plus two power. That was actually an important quest. Okay. Good to know. Now I can go do that thing within a... I should be able to do that thing in Orlesian now. Ring of Life Drain. Okay. Hopefully that means drain life for my enemies and not drain life for myself. The Wrath of Lovius. Lovius. That might be a good new staff for Mr. Uh, Elfman. I'm blanking on his mind for a on his uh, name for a moment here. I'm sorry. There's a lot of information and names to process in RPGs. Hey, more columnar jointing. This is a dead end with more loot. Okay. I'm always okay with more loot. Balanced daggers and things like that. There's a book on the ground. I guess I'm not supposed to read that though. This I'm surprised that there's nothing readable in there. There almost always is. We have five power, so we're actually all set to go check something out next. Uh, what do I get? Token of the Packmaster is what I'm wearing right now, I guess. What do I- I got Life Ring. 2% heal on kill. That's not very good. 2% <laughs> heal on kill is just not impressive. What am I wearing right now, though? I'm wearing an Earth Shaking Ring, so I guess I'll do- I'll wear Life Drain over that, because I don't even have my Earth Shaking ability yet. And then we'll look in my- what's my new staff like? Is that going to be an upgrade for Mr. Solus, who has not gotten a new weapon for a while? It's a unique staff. Ooh. Uh, 44 DPS, 
plus five magic, plus five magic defense, two willpower. It has multiple purple things put into it. Bear staff, grip, acolyte staff, blade. Let's see. Any important descriptions? Patterned, af patterned after the staff of Archon Levias, ever watchful for rivals, the canny Levias crafted a weapon that also shielded him with the energy that absorbed hostile sp spell, pow spell power. His death at age 89 from choking on a fishbone is the subject of few notable to venture comedians. Let's see. So it's cold damage, it's a higher DPS, gives me more magic. Uh, seems like an overall, yeah, I'll put it on. Why not? Do I have a new shield? Is it actually a good shield? Because Cassandra could use a good, a good shield. Yeah. Uh, looks like an all-around better shield. Good for you, Cassandra. You got an upgrade. Uh, two-handed weapons. How are we doing on those? Let's check with Vasti real quick. No, that Claymore looks like it destroys everything else still. These ones give you bonus strength, but still, this one has a full 10 DPS advantage, I think, so it's probably worth keeping. And no new one-handed weapons. So it's more or less all I have to cover here. Uh, how are we doing on the map? I covered pretty much all the quests in the area, didn't I? Wow, I got a nice big big chunk of stuff explored, too. So, I guess the next thing to do is we'll go back to this camp because we have a quest to turn in for the meat. This is good progress, though. I'll turn in this meat quest here, and then we'll probably... The next thing we'll probably do is go to, or to check out or the Orlesian quest I can do with four power. Probably should have done that before, but hey, maybe we'll finally get some forward progress on the, like, the main story, because we've been doing a lot of open world stuff. Not, enti not entirely intentionally, either. May as well claim this landmark in the middle of town. Last time I was here, I didn't know what these did, actually. Clink! Sagoth's here to Bright X, Avatar Mother, seventh stanza. Wow, it's actually chronologically after all the other ones I've seen, despite being the first one you can find. Tear to Bright X, Dwarf Friend Chieftain, with her leaf-eared lover Lay. Oh, uh, woke she did to love sweat morning, lover gone in light of day. Dream words whispered, soft and uh, spoken soft. I'll try that again. Dream words whispered, spoken soft, still the silence crushed and crashing. Dead her tribe, unless a child could keep her line in warrior fashion. Avilvar, so named the lover, called our journey yours and mine. One day, child of Tyrda's blood, Morrigan, Morrigan, and in strength must shine. Lovers whispers to obey, hater dwarf prince, friend in passion. Babe produced to serve to serve the line, the Avar tribe, her name are taking. Morganen, Morganen, Morganen. It just looks like Morrigan, but spelled strangely with extra symbols almost. It's weird. Because Morrigan, of course, is a character from the first Dragon Age, which I don't think she exists outside of the first Dragon Age, despite being one of the most iconic characters. I think her story more or less concluded during that game. Elfroot! Always happy to find more Elfroot. Okay. Now let's talk to this hunter. And tell him that I finally got meat for him. Maybe he'll tell me to go kill some other animal next. Mages, Templars, bandits, demons. Making it hard for a man to hunt for his supper. Here, maybe this will help. It more than helps. With this, I can fill these hungry bellies. Give these folks some hope. I didn't think much of the Inquisition. But no one else is helping like you lot. Maybe I was wrong. Hey, more power! And our quest completed. I wonder, if I satisfy enough people around this town, does a quest unlock that, like, makes me finish this town, basically? I probably have more to do around here. What is that X? Oh, that's just one of the locations. So we have shards down here, we have another- ooh. Okay, the- wow, find the key to the captain- ca find the key to the cabin. The cabin's, like, up here, and the key is down here, apparently. By this camp I haven't discovered yet, so I might as well go there soon, but for now I'm gonna go- yeah, that, yeah, right, That's the per that person needs the potion down here, too, so... There's a few more quests to do for town, and there's an exclamation point for a new quest here. So there's definitely more stuff to do, but before I do that, I think I'm gonna go to Orlesian, the Orlesian mission, and try to do something more varied before I return here. Because there is a lot to do around here. What's gonna be in this building, though? I didn't notice that I hadn't gone in here before. Looks like a whole lot of nothing. Alright! I'll see you guys back at the war room, and we'll check out what we can do in the with the or or Legion Empire. <laughs>